Various Tech Talk today, we are focusing on the needs of small communities located in rural and isolated areas. These small communities are not connected to centralized sewage water system to ensure proper wastewater treatment. Motivated by these essential needs, Veolia has designed EcoDisc, a wastewater treatment system with a capacity to serve between 100 and 10,000 population equivalent. Based on rotating biological competitors technology known as RBC. With our experts, Mr. Munir Ali Turan from France and Mr. Rafael Shamia from Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we are delighted supporting you in the pursuit of expanding your knowledge for one of the best available technologies on small sewage treatment plants. Loving pictures, a wastewater treatment plant of a small community. Ali, could you please tell us about the challenges they are facing in terms of the wastewater treatment plant? Well, uh, first of all, uh, you generally don't have the chance uh, to monopolize your employees uh, 24 hours on 24 on site, uh, due to the fact that it is relatively a small or medium scaled STP, which is located generally far away from the center. So the technology that you're counting on should be robust, reliable and also should demand minimal maintenance during the operation phase. Secondly, uh, these areas can be completely off-grid or can encounter a large interruption of, of electricity feed. Um, a completely or at least semi-autonomous plant should be required with the aim of proposing a sustainable solution to the, to the end user. EcoDisc and EcoDisc Solar can easily encounter these principal challenges and provide a, a long-life, uh, reliable wastewater treatment solution to our customers. Actually, Akuri Solar could be great fit for the Middle East region. How do you implement the solar energy provision with EcoDisc? Great, great remark, Nargis. Uh, well, it is one of the differences that the customer gets once uh, choosing Weolia as a partner. EcoDisc Solar is practically an, an EcoDisc unit, which is complete or semi-autonomous in terms of energy consumption. For the isolated zones, EcoDisc Solar off-grid can propose 100% solar energy use with an adapted battery. Um, it is also possible to build an on-grid version without batteries. This solution will therefore uh, valorize uh, the solar energy uh, during the day while maintaining the full backup from the, from the local electrical network when needed. Both solutions have been developed in order to meet the exact need of our clients depending on situation and site conditions. Thanks, Ali. The robust technology with simplicity of operation seems to be one of the main advantages of EcoDisc. Which other differentiation factors of EcoDisc are adding significant value for our customers in small communities? Yes, Nargis, as you said, uh, our mission is to add value to our clients and we fulfill this, this requirement with several aspects. For example, our EcoDisc system ensures excellent treated water quality without actually without adding uh, any chemicals. Thanks to our high quality motors, we have a significant lower energy consumption. But what really makes the difference and has made us so successful globally is the expertise of our local Veolia teams. And secondly, the European quality of our EcoDisc units. Our clients trust that their EcoDisc units will run trouble free for many, many years. To even guarantee that smooth operation and uh, provide the support anytime, anywhere. All, our, all of our units are now hop-grade enabled. This means that they're connected to, uh, to, to the Veolia Group uh, secure digital platform. That sounds amazing, Ali. And let's speak more about the motivation and benefits to treat wastewater and not simply discharge somewhere in the river, does it? Well, firstly, uh, for the environmental sustainability, uh, wastewater should be treated before discharging into the receiving environment. But one of the most important economical aspects is to be able to reuse this treated water in the Greenlands, for example, as an irrigation resources. It will also avoid the usage of the potable water and limit the expenses of the customer on site. That is a critical issue for the, for the Middle East region where the water is, uh, is, is, is quite precious, actually. <clears throat> Another aspect is the governmental regulations. As of today, uh, most of our most of most of most authorities have some obligations to respect environmental protection. So, not conforming to them can create some important penalties. I totally agree with this aspect, especially in the Middle East, 
treated wastewater is one of the significantly growing water resources. Rifat, could you please share with us which treated affluent qualities we can ensure with Ecodus technology? Well, as of today, Ecodus combined with vanilla settlers maintains a standard of chemical oxygen beam and COD of less than 120 ppm. Biological oxygen beam and BOD5 of less than 25 ppm and total suspended solids TSS of less than 30 ppm. And since we are in an arid climate zone, this treated wastewater could be a great source for irrigation purposes, as Annie mentioned. How do we reach higher affluent quality? And could you please also share one of our case studies in Kingdom of Saudi Arabia? Nurses, for reaching higher standards, EcoDisc plus Lamilla Settler will be downstream integrated with a tertiary treatment stage. In KSA, we have already installed several plants where a sand or multimedia filter, followed by a disinfection, were considered as a tertiary step to reusing of the wastewater as an irrigation source. Our customers have been saved their potable water, which is crucial in a water scarce area as Middle East. And as always said, every drop counts. Now I'm curious to know, Rafat, what is the most important topic for our clients? This is a very good question, Nargis. We've frequently been asked about the fluctuation in the inlet flow rates and what technology can absorb this change. And accordingly, we respond by recommending the EcoDisc, which is a flexible solution that can handle a very range of variations in terms of both hydraulic and pollution loads as well. Not to mention that this is why EcoDisc can easily encounter most of the hotels and resorts requirements, where the seasonal loading peak can reach up to two or three times during prime periods. Thanks a lot, Rafat. The flexibility is definitely a key advantage of EcoDisc. Now back to you, Ali. You referred low operation and maintenance. How would you describe the positioning of EcoDisc with focus on similar technologies in the market? EcoDisc has only a single gear motor, which ensures the mechanical aeration of the biofilm. That's why it proposes a 60-70% more optimized electrical consumption than a conventional activated sludge. If the activated sludge is generally uh, uses blower systems in order to maintain the aeration. <clears throat> that is also a really important aspect to underline the electrical autonomy of the plant because um, the minimal energy consumption will reduce the solar panel area required, hence optimize the initial capex for the end user. EcoDis Solar proposes not only an electrical, elect electrically autonomous approach, but also an effective ROI for the future plant owner. Thanks a lot, Ali and Rafat, for giving us a brief overview how to tackle the challenges on wastewater treatment for small communities in remote and isolated areas. With our business units across the globe, we are very close to our clients, to you, in every region, and we are looking forward to meeting you in person and understand your needs and priorities.